So hi everyone, my name is Dipti Harsha Dwartak and I'm here with my amazing, amazing student Sejal who was able to monetize her baking skills in just a matter of 30 days. And let me tell you, uh, in, in just last few months, Sejal was able to cross more than 1 lakh rupees in terms of revenue by selling her amazing baked products from the comfort of her home bakery. Now let me tell you, these kind of results are not typical for any home baker. It actually requires a lot of dedication, lot of hard work and an investment attitude as well. Only then you can achieve such kind of results which Sejal has got. So uh, let us welcome uh, Sejal, our amazing, amazing student. I'm so happy to do this Hall of Fame interview with uh, you, Sejal. So uh, tell us something about yourself, like uh, which city are you from? Who all are there in your family? And what was your profession before you started doing this? baking thing professionally yeah uh, so hello everybody hello Dipti ma'am uh, uh, first of all a very big thank you to you and the entire team DVA for uh, creating a module which was so easy to uh, master I will not say learn I will say to master and to achieve the results that I have achieved uh, there have been constant hand-holding, a lot of questions which were answered, not just in the live sessions, but uh, also via any WhatsApp or Facebook query that uh, not just me, but any of your students had. Uh, well, that was uh, what I wanted to talk about first. Apart from that, I am Sejal Bora. I live in the beautiful city of Ahmedabad. But I have roots in uh, Calcutta, Bombay and Delhi. Wow. Because, yeah, my childhood has been in Calcutta. My college was in Bombay, got married in Delhi, and I'm settled here now. <laughs> wow, you, you are like a true Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, I was a fashion designer uh, before, uh, yes. So then, then I got married and I was continuing it. Once I had my child uh, and we shifted to the new place, Mm. I was not very comfortable with the work, uh, work at its over here in Ahmedabad. So, mm. you know, I was not enjoying mm. uh, my uh, career per se. Mm. Mm. And then because I had a small child and a new city, so I thought it is important that I give her my support and, uh, you know, so, so that I could help her blossom into a good uh, human being. Wow. And uh, then uh, COVID came. Mm. And uh, I'm sure everybody ha had a lot of time to think what and where their life was going on. Uh, I happened to come across one of your uh, posts on Facebook mm. about uh, the 30 day super baker challenge. Mm. Which uh, intrigued me because uh, just like you, my journey as a baker started because my daughter didn't have outside cakes. Wow. She would, for her birthday, I would get decorated cakes from out. Mm. She would cut it and she would not even have a small bite of it. Oh. Never. I don't remember apart from her second birthday that she has eaten an outside cake. So there but was always... That? Like she doesn't I don't like... know, somehow she was... I, I think probably she was not uh, very keen with the cream. Mm. You know, she preferred simple chocolate cakes with huh. maybe just chocolate icing or truffle. But as a kid, truffle was a bit, a little bit more strong for her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. she liked my simple homemade cakes. The only decor would be of sprinkles because that is the only thing I knew at that time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so she was very much used to, I come from a family who loves eating. So we all are a big foodie family, both from my maternal side as well as my husband's side. So I've been used to, uh, you know, doing a lot of things, seeing recipes mm -hmm. and, you know, making a lot of different things. Uh, so she has always seen me as that, Mama, you make for everybody, you make for me, I want that cake only. So there okay. would be always two cakes. One would be just for her. She would not even share it with anybody. <laughs> only her close friends would get a bite from that special Mama made cake. And so for the others, I had to have a decorated cake mm -hmm. from out. And uh, so I thought, okay, you know, I mean, if I'm doing it only, so why not learn it the right way? Mm. And that is how uh, Super Baker happened. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, but along with that, I had even joined an interior decorating online course. Oh. Yes. Wow. Which was of a year. So, hmm. uh, you know, when at that time, when I came to know about this uh, gold membership and all, I was hmm. not sure I would be able to cope with everything together. Yes. So I didn't take it up that time, which I feel at the hindsight, I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no matter what, I think destiny has its own path. So yeah. I did learn a little bit of uh, interior. So, you know, hopefully now when I shift into my new home, I will be able to use those skills also. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so when the diamond certification came up, I knew, I just knew I have to do this. I have mm. to learn it the uh, right way. Mm. I think a month of... Uh, I think a week of joining the course and I finished the cookie module in the first week itself. Yes, yes. And I think apart from Oreo, I don't remember any other cookies or biscuits making into my house since that time. Wow. <laughs> wow. In a year so, that I think I can say I have not been contributing to the biscuit industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, God. So like outside biscuits are totally gone. You are just baking for like baking yeah, so many cookie yes. recipes. Oh, wow. Wow, yes. that is really awesome. So uh, that is the reason like sometimes if she would have a cookie at a friend's house, she would pester her friend's uh, mother that, can you share the recipe? I want to tell my mom to make oh. it. So that is why I have a plethora of recipes with me, which has been suggested by friends and family. Oh my God. I have this recipe. Why don't you try? See if it works, you know. Wow. And though it is their recipe, I don't know why, but when I make it, they're like, it's turning out better. I don't know why. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, yeah. so, so see, I get it that you got into baking for your child because, you know, she wanted to have uh, homemade cakes or you wanted to give her homemade uh, uh, products or homemade cakes. But then what made you launch your home bakery business? Like, wo kahan se gaya? Um, actually, I think I'll have to give that credit to my friends hmm. who were, who pestered me, who have literally made my menu card and the pricing for them. That Nini, it, this much though you have to price for your cake or this much though you have to price for this. This is like really fabulous. Wow. Wow. So it was uh, their constant support and encouragement, which uh, gave me the confidence that, no, I can go big on this. So, you oh. know, and uh, otherwise also whenever there would be any social, uh, you know, I mean, a meetup or a dinner or a gathering with friends, it was an unsaid rule that desserts are going to be by Sejal. Sejal. Wow. Yes, that was the unsaid rule even before I joined the certification course and definitely 100% <laughs> after that. <laughs> oh my God, lovely, lovely. Super yeah, awesome. So, so, so Sejal, but then um, uh, doing baking online, uh, did it not scare you? Like what were your initial thoughts or maybe expectation when you had joined the Super Baker program oh. or even for that matter, Diamond Certification as well? Because it really requires quite a bit of investment. So like what were... What were your initial thoughts? My initial was uh, because, uh, like I said, I did interior, but then somewhere mm -hmm. along the way, I lost a little bit of, uh, you know, I mean, uh, focus on it because I was not enjoying that interaction online. Oh. So that was my biggest apprehension that what if I don't enjoy it online? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, if I'm not able to get the same, the thing is I'm more of a hands-on. I would prefer to go to a right. hands-on class and do, uh, you know, if if I come to know there's a, a hands-on class uh, or an event in my own city, I would prefer to go for that, even if I have to pay a little extra, that I, I need to do it with my hand mm -hmm. to understand whether I can do it. Because yeah. just by seeing, I can even see YouTube and do the recipes. Yeah, yeah. So that was my uh, biggest apprehension. But then uh, I said, no, uh, let me try. There's no harm in trying. Like, you know, maybe I will uh, get, but uh, it was uh, very, very comfortable because of the community that we had developed. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's like, I, I am still in touch with my super baker friends of uh, 2022. 
you know maybe if there's any problem or anything i can just call them and you know mm-hmm. ask them okay okay i'm struggling with this or you know mm-hmm. you had made this cake at that time how did you do it or whatever mm-hmm. and that way similar we made a bond in the diamond uh, certification course also with uh, you know everybody yes so it i mean there's hand holding at all point of time Mm. I mean, there's. It's not like you know when you will see and you will reply back. Then mm. only will I my query yeah. be solved. So it was. Uh, that is uh, what I love the most. I think that that made it very easy to follow. Plus, your videos are so detailed mm. and so simple. Mm. that uh, you know uh, unless you are a really terrible baker, <laughs> you you can't go wrong. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Like uh, as long as you've got your equipments and your measurements correct and your instruments are uh, good, uh, there's absolutely no problem. I mean, it's, it's like fail-proof recipes always. Wow. wow. So it is like you you took two online courses. One was this baking related thing, Super Baker and Diamond, and another one was uh, uh, the interior yeah. one. But you stuck over. You got stuck over here somehow. Right. So thanks to commu- thanks to our community, yes. isn't it? <laughs> so how easy how how much easy was it for you to learn from these recipes or decorations right or assignments what was your overall experience all about the uh, i mean all the other modules like uh, were very easy to mm. uh, you know make and uh, the thing it was uh, and like i said i there was never a doubt of people ready to gobble mm. up the goodies so that mm. motivated me to you know i mean it was a set thing kisi ko bhi dessert khana hai main ghar mein hu na hu my fridge will be always stocked with it <laughs> <laughs> so i guess initially uh, it, it was uh, that i was not getting any orders because i was not even trying for them because yeah. no problem you were not doing any baking i was constantly baking i mean i would be at rf at every like alternate week getting and i am sure that guy was also be thinking ki acha ye madam ka business acha chal raha hai i know uh, i know yeah i guess yeah, the I remember point, you were not you were just focused on building your skills like i just wanted yeah your... i just wanted to actually just hone my skills before mm-hmm. i launched because i don't like doing it half hearted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like if i make a, a cake or a, the thing if i am not liking the taste yeah. i cannot expect my customer to pay me for it absolutely i have to be not 100 but 1000% sure about the taste and the quality quality definitely there was no compromise mm-hmm. taste you know because it was like something new like you know like red velvet i had never had before mm. uh you know i mean uh, somehow uh, the red velvet brownie like i had never had it before yeah. so i was not sure what is the taste what is the texture mm. and by seeing online you can't really get to know mm. either of them so it was a lot of uh, practice which uh, happened and uh, uh, luckily i was able to uh, hon my skills because of the constant practice mm. only once i think uh when when i did the, the first raksha bandhan hampers yeah that is when my confidence was like okay yes now i can oh. think at you know take orders because uh, mm. i think i can justify uh, what i am going to be charging for them absolutely absolutely because i know how much thought and hard work goes behind the scenes i mean mm. for somebody it is just ke ek ghante mein cake bana ke de diya mm. like iske peeche mm. ka jo prep hota hai that only we bakers know absolutely okay. absolutely you know, because home bakers are taken for a, a ride they they think yeah. ke, okay i mean you're just doing it at home at your convenience you know no extra uh payments or uh, rent or electricity that you need but then uh i mean uh the main ingredient which goes into it which is completely priceless is love absolutely uh, which people don't understand uh and so uh sadly we have to put a price tag on that love but uh, we would not like it any other way we would not like love to and price. care and hygiene as well right hygiene is another most important aspects that home bakers really put a lot of thought uh, uh, into so totally agree with you like yeah. the it, comparing bakery cakes and home bakers cakes is like comparing apples to oranges right this yeah. home, homemade cakes are always going to be like totally out of the world so yeah. totally agree with you on this so sejal what are those key lessons or techniques 
uh, which you learned inside the program, which have helped you really elevate your maybe baking skills or decorations or business skills for that matter? Uh, no, I, I mean, it's like the most key thing is, I think, your measurements, if your measurement and your technique or the temperature at which you even mm -hmm. melt your chocolate or, you know, bake your cake or any of the bakes for that matter, any one thing goes a little off mm -hmm. and the product will not be, uh, you know, uh, the same. So to maintain your consistency, also, you need to be very, very accurate with your measurements and your timings. Absolutely. Um, you know, apart from that, uh, I mean, uh, no matter how, uh, if, I mean, you you have to be sure about uh, how are you going to be uh, keeping your supply so as you are not over, you know, stocking and yeah. then you ultimately get rid of it because it has expired or something. Right. I mean, to save on a few monies on a bigger packaging, uh, you might be landing some health calls mm. uh, to somebody, you know, by... Uh, offering uh, yes. like inferior quality of, of uh, this thing. So, so you are talking about inventory management as well. Inventory management is lovely. very, very important. Very important. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. Super awesome. If, if your techniques are also right, you will get consistent results every time. Correct. Correct. Uh, and that is what we uh, want in business. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How did the program prepare you to launch your uh, home bakery, right? If, what kind of uh, aspects did you... It, it was the uh, motivation in the, uh, and the energy in the live sessions, you know, mm -hmm. every Thursday you would feel. So e even if you've not done something over the weekend, maybe, uh, which is very rare for me, but uh, if somehow you've not done all over the weekend on Monday, your mind is saying, Are Thursday live session, uske pehle kuch to bada do. <laughs> you know, kuch to like, you know, I should, I should make something, you know. Mm. Uh, and uh, there, there are a lot of uh, ideas which, you know, are discussed on Thursday. Mm. Uh, everybody, uh, not just in the QA, but even in the initial discussions. Mm. So there's a lot of. Uh, ideas which are like you know ping pong around your brain that okay achha, she did like this oh it's a new idea I can do it so then it's not just the recipes which have been already shared but the mm. innumerable ones which are constantly shared when somebody tries on something new yes so that's the reason right now if I'm trying on something no matter how it turns out I share it in the group okay, okay I tried oh. this oh uh, I'm still going to you know, need to work on it, but it's something that, you know, you can try. It's nice. It's easy to make, you know, easy Absolutely. to make. Uh, Absolutely. So can you talk yeah. about, can you talk more about the community? How the community has uh, helped you grow in these few days of, or few months of Super Baker program or even in Diamond as well? Yeah, like even in Super Baker program, uh, there were a few who were like, I think always hands on. The moment the query would be put within 15, 20 minutes, somebody or the other would have put a reply to it. Yes. If they don't know, they will guide. Okay, so and so had done this, you ask her. Mm, so, wow. you know, so it becomes easy. Like if, if it's a very urgent thing, mm. I mean, somebody, yeah, that yeah, person yeah. is just a call away. Mm. Okay, uh, listen, I'm sorry to disturb you, but, you know, can you just tell me this? I'm in the middle of, you know, oh. just making something. So it, it was that quick, even with a uh, diamond certification, uh, you know, even before the uh, different groups were made. Yes. Even before that, there was this, uh, you know, you could call up uh, anybody mm. and ask them, okay, you know, I mean, uh, see, you have done this. I'm struggling with this. Can you help? You know, yes. can you guide us? Uh, where am I going wrong? Like, you know, so that was, uh, uh, that was me. That is a very beautiful uh, thing and a very beautiful feeling. Lovely. And, and it's always you... good to have friends. Uh, Absolutely. So what I love the most, actually more than anything, uh, is about the group, the enthusiasm, whether you are getting an order or not the other person is constantly motivating you. It is not mm. like, you know, if he or she is getting orders, they, I mean, uh, they are yeah. jealous about the others who are getting, you know. So it's a very, very uh, friendly group uh, that we have. So, yeah, there's no competition amongst ourselves. In fact, they are constantly like, okay, you've done this. Why don't you try this also? Like, you know, whether it works for me or not doesn't matter. But, you know, just try it. It might work for you. Like Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. 
so now can you share a specific feedback or the testimonial from your customer right which um, highlights the quality of your cakes or your bakes yeah so recently i had done a dessert table for my husband's 50th birthday yes and uh, the the moment i mean i didn't have much time to actually decorate the whole thing i i just had two days to make the entire dessert table My so God. it was two days of uh, stocking planning and execution mm-hmm. yes and so, presentation as well and the presentation so everybody was like uh, really surprised because they had i mean they they knew i could make but like mm-hmm. so much of variety they did not know yes uh, to be very frank i myself was surprised by <laughs> <laughs> you know I had even prepped to make cake pops, but I didn't ultimately make it because I didn't have the time. Then you know, yeah, that spread was like, oh my god, so much, so much effort you had put into that. Yeah, so uh, everybody really loved the uh, dessert table. When I told them that, please do share your feedback so that I can, uh, you know, I mean, for me. and uh, you know the feedback that i received from my friends was something which actually brought tears to my eyes because it was so detailed each and every dessert that i had made mm. they had written a full proper description about it uh describing it and uh, you know you feel uh, very overwhelmed when you mm-hmm. see that you know what you wanted to portray through your dessert was actually able I mean that other person was able to sense it, to taste it. Lovely. You know, it wasn't just uh, because uh, it it was just too ever overwhelming. <laughs> so, Sejal, now tell us what are those top three things that have helped you become like the better version of yourself and achieve this kind of business, uh, this kind of uh, success in your bakery business. Um, the. i think earlier like you know i mean i would uh, if i would bake something everybody in the house knew that today i have gone through a bad mood and to elevate my mood i got into the kitchen to bake okay so uh, when i started the course my husband was teasing me that uh, so are you going to be permanently in a bad mood <laughs> because you're going to be permanently baking i'm like no 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 i'm not going to be in a bad mood uh, and uh, but uh, but it is there it works as a therapy for me if yeah. in case i'm feeling down or low mm. and uh, sometimes if i'm if i feel like little low that i'm not getting orders or something mm. and i tell myself no it's okay i make a big batch and i go out i take that entire batch i go out onto the streets and i distribute it among the uh, you know the children on the signal wow. or on the streets and uh, i forget about everything else absolutely yeah so that is uh, i mean that that uh, smile on their face and you know when they receive a muffin or a cake or a, you know i mean brownie or for that matter they are like uh, so amazed because each and every one is like individually packed and given to them oh. so they feel so special that this mm. is only for me like oh. you know yeah so uh, okay. that gives me immense happiness immense happiness lovely and uh, the third and i'm so so protective about my charity or uh, the thing that uh, i to be very frank i don't share it to all yes yes i know i know the uh, uh, platform and uh, also because uh, if like my husband or my daughter would try to take from that i said no no from this you cannot take i'll make a new mm. batch for you tomorrow <laughs> but this i've made for that so please don't uh, you know i don't want even like one child being left out yeah. I mean, there's still going to be so many so many yeah. but uh, if it's like if i've thought that this i'm going to do for charity i don't even want one piece going out of it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. correct 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 lovely yeah. lovely so and what is the third thing uh the third thing is uh, for all the new bakers out there don't mm. just worry about initially taking orders please work on your skills because that will go a very long way in making you achieve your dream goal mm. because in the rush of uh, you know getting an order we stop working on perfecting ourselves mm. and then the results are not consistent absolutely totally agree with you on so this that is the most most important thing 
super super and see now initially when you used to bake like you just said right now people used to think maybe you are in a bad mood so you are baking especially the but, day i made bread because i would punch <laughs> it <laughs> so right now what are they talking about you right now that you have already made so now that thing i've gone i've gone completely mad because <laughs> i don't like to do a simple decoration on the cake oh. i do something which takes a lot of time like we just yeah. made a cake for my uh, daughter's birthday yes and my husband is like please mere birthday cake ka itna decoration mat karna <laughs> Because oh, like you will get tired, you have other mm-hmm. things like you know my daughter is yeah, in the tenth grade. That that cake was like different colored layers, right? For every yes. it was very yeah, big. Yeah, it was a rainbow cake. Buttercream yeah. uh, uh, cake, and it was so good. It was so good. The layers were looking like absolutely magical. Uh, in that, yeah. and it shows how much effort uh, you would have uh, taken. But are they supportive of, about you as an entrepreneur or as a business woman? Very, very. Oh. Uh... they are always like ke oh you know when i say ke I'm, i'm i have to do this or you know i have to complete this so so they will be like yeah 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 make it make it make it i said you are telling me to motivate me or because you'll get to eat them later think me it is to motivate you if we don't eat how will you feel the motivation to make also <laughs> but they are very very supportive that you know if this is what gives you happiness my more than me my husband is keen that i should in the future for see maybe opening a bakery wow. or not not even a bakery like like a proper cafe because i'm fond of uh, you know other uh, things also like you can be so nice you'll get to socialize with new people and you know you can be there and uh, wow. it will be a uh, really nice so and that was exactly my next question was like now that you have already crossed way above 1 lakh rupees in terms of revenue What is your next goal for three to five years? But I guess you have already answered it. Yes, I I, I would uh, love to be a uh, uh, open a small cafe which mm-hmm. which serves good food, maybe limited but good yes. food. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's where you can go on to if you want to just huddle into a corner with a book and a nice cup of or uh, you yeah. know coffee and a uh, cake. Wow. And you won't be disturbed. Uh, I would I would love to open such a thing. Superb, superb, and. Your city is such a foodie city. People would definitely appreciate a venture like that. So why not? And yeah. uh, Sejal, I also remember once you had shared that uh, the healthy recipe, right, which you did um, uh, from that uh, healthy baking recipes module, ragi cake. I guess it was ragi chocolate ragi cake, cake, right? Yes. Where your yeah. customers like uh, when the product itself is not ready, they were pushing you. कि मतलब बना दो Whatever yes, and I had never made it. I had never made or uh, worked with anything except, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, like maida or uh, wheat flour. Mm-hmm. So I never tried any of this uh, ragi or jowar uh, oh. uh, you know, flour at all. So mm-hmm. I was very skeptical whether uh, the thing. But she was very consistent because her mother law, uh, mother in law, had a gluten problem. Oh. so she was very consistent ki no 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 you please uh, make it it will turn out good i said i i know i i do need to but uh, it's like that first uh, i hadn't even tasted it before mm. i delivered my first order my so God. it was like a lot of apprehension that you know i don't know i myself i have not tasted it then how will it turn out but again thanks to your faultless <laughs> recipe it was it had turned out good and uh, too good i know it was really it was just, i think you had jo- joined diamond within a month only you had uh, shared yes. this particular thing yes. so that was like that was that was a big win for me as well right when the customers are talking so good about you it is a win for me as a, a coach or as a mentor and mm-hmm. i also want to thank your husband as well because he has been a constant support he is the one who pushed you right ki matlab yeah. super baker mein ye result mila hai to ye wala diamond wala bhi kar hi lo if i am not wrong yeah, yeah. it uh, it was like uh, i was a little apprehensive that it's for mm-hmm. a year i don't know will i be able to follow yeah. it you know because uh, um You know, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I was going through some health issues that time, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. I had some staff issue also. I'm like, घर का काम तो मुश्किल से हो रहा है, oh. like you know, ये extra काम कैसे करूँगी? And he's like, just if you're liking it, start. Then you see how mm-hmm. it goes. You know. Mm-hmm. 
uh, it's not that you have to uh, necessarily make a living out of it. Like, you know, like, if you're liking it, you continue doing it. Wow. Uh, you know, so it it was, uh, it just happened by chance. It was a 50 year that I wanted to gift him something. So with that same revenue that I generated, I bought a, a silver idol of uh, mm-hmm. Sai Baba for him. And he was, he was like speechless. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. What must be that moment, right? It is like, should have been, uh, should be, I'm I'm sure you would have captured that moment. Beautiful yeah. it is. Like, super awesome, Sejal. I'm so, so, so happy and I'm having goosebumps as well. So, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that. Now, how do you feel about your journey and your achievements? Oh, well, my journey has been really beautiful. And the achievement has been much more than what I imagined. Wow. So uh, I I feel really happy and proud that I was able to start and execute something so well. Wow. And now I I sort of have a more clear picture as to what my future will be. Okay. You know, till uh, till maybe two years back, I was not mm. so sure as to mm. what I want to do. But uh, now I do have a focus. I do have a goal. So I I think in the next five years, I will achieve it. Lovely. Super awesome. So guys, all of you all who are watching this interview, if you are loving uh, Sejal's story, make sure that you are liking this video and you are sharing this video with minimum five people who have to hear this today itself, right? Or maybe if you're someone who is struggling with your baking or maybe you have somebody in your life or your family and friends who are struggling with baking or they want to start a home business as well, please make sure that you are sharing the link that I'm posting below this video in the description box for them to get started with our Super Baker program. And um, uh, if you are from Sejal's city, make sure that you are ordering from her. I'll post her social media handles again below this video in the description box. So make sure that um, uh, you are following her page, you are DMing her and you are ordering from her because she really puts her heart and soul in making each and every product that she sells from the from the comfort of her home bakery, which is a professional home bakery, right? So um, Sejal, any last thoughts that you would like to share with us? Uh, just keep baking and keep smiling. <laughs> Wow, that is really, really awesome. So again, yes, thank you so much, uh, Sejal, for doing this Hall of Fame interview with uh, uh, me. And guys, again, if you are aspiring to start your home bakery business, Super Baker program is perfect for you uh, because we have a community of existing and aspiring bakers who are getting transformed in their baking journey, just like Sejal, every single day, right? If you want to have a lot of clarity in your home bakery business, This is the place for you. Welcome to the community and thank you so much. Thank you.